Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make yourself comfortable. To my amazing returning subscribers, thank you for coming back to watch me. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make your marita and pepper sauce. This recipe is very easy to put together and I'm sure you would love it. My name is Oge and you're welcome to my kitchen. Let's get started. Our recipe today requires yam and this is the yam I'll be using. I'll start by cutting up the yam into my preferred sizes before proceeding to peel up the yam. While peeling the yam, I realized that some part of it was already going bad so I couldn't get as many slices as I wanted and I also couldn't get the round shape I was going for which is very essential for the recipe I'm about to share with you. So I had to cut out some slices from my leftover yam. After peeling the yam, I'll clear my work surface before proceeding to cut a hole in the middle of each yam. And I'll be using nozzle to do this. This is cake nozzle. Feel free to use any equipment or utensil that will make it very easy for you. It wasn't easy cutting out the ship with this small nozzle because the yam was very thick. But this is what I got after taking it out. It looks beautiful, right? So I'm going to do the same for the rest of camera and I'll be back to show you the final result. So after cutting the yams, this is what I got and this is looking so nice. I'll proceed to wash the yams thoroughly before adding it into my pot. I'll place my washed yams nicely inside my pot and I'll season with a little salt. Do you season your yam with salt or you prefer to add sugar? Let me know in the comment section. I'll also add enough water. I'll be using hot water for this because I want the yams to start cooking immediately. I'm going to let it cook until it is like 90% cooked. The yam should be ready in about 10 minutes. While the yam is cooking, I'll proceed to wash my peppers. I'll pour my yamarita with pepper sauce. And to achieve the kind of spiciness I'm going for, I'll need different kinds of peppers. Lots of peppers. I have some scotch bonnet pepper natashe and onion so this is going to be very spicy when making yours feel free to adjust it to your taste it's been 10 minutes after i left the yam to cook and it's time to go check on the yam so this is what it's looking like it is ready at this point i'll take this out from my pot and place it on my oven rack so it cools down before i proceed to the next step i hope you're enjoying this recipe this looks absolutely beautiful i'll chop up the onion and i'll blend the peppers roughly if you're coming across this channel for the first time, hello, a warm welcome to you. Make yourself comfortable. You are the right place. Kindly consider subscribing to be a part of this amazing family. We'd love to have you here. And also turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out whenever I upload a new video. You will definitely enjoy your stay here. To my amazing returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back. You guys are simply amazing. You guys are the best. Please guys, always share my videos whenever you watch. I'll coat my yam in flour mixture and I'll be using a cup of flour for this. Because I want the yam to be extra crispy, I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch but this is totally optional. And I'll add the rest of my seasoning. Kindly check the description box for the measurements and the seasoning that I used. I seasoned the flour with a little salt, grounded pepper because I want it to be spicy, black pepper, parsley flakes, all-purpose seasoning, and curry powder. Feel free to season with your favorite spices. I'll give that a good mix until they combine properly. for this recipe i started with two eggs but i used a total of four i love to crack my eggs separately in a different plate before i transfer into the main bowl i do this most times especially when i'm not so sure of how fresh the eggs are this helps me to identify a bad egg so after cracking the eggs into my plate i'll season with a little salt and parsley flakes and i'll mix until they combine properly <music> to the next stage of this recipe it's time to coat the yams in the flour and egg mixture 
I'll start by dipping the yams inside the egg mixture and then I'll coat it with flour. I'll dip it back into the egg mixture to help bind this flour. I'll continue this process until I've achieved my desired coating. Feel free to do this as many times as you like. This step is self-explanatory. Watch closely and you understand. Please guys, kindly follow me on other social media platforms. I'm active on Facebook, on Instagram and on TikTok. And my name is Ogi Anyoko. It's going to be difficult for you to find my handle. Please guys, follow me, watch my videos, engage in the comments, share it out to your family and friends, get me more followers. I'm very serious about those pages and I really want them to grow and I need your support to be able to grow my channels. So faves, I'm counting on your support to help me grow my pages. Let's repeat what we did here on YouTube on my Facebook, Instagram and TikTok accounts. Like I said earlier, I started with 2x but I used a total of 4. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know the kind of contents you want. Are there food challenges you want me to try out? Let me know. To fry my yams, I'll add enough vegetable oil into my pan. I'm adding enough because I want to deep fry the yams. I'll allow it to heat up before placing my yams nicely inside the hot oil. And I'll let it fry until it becomes very crispy and golden brown. Look at that beauty. The first batch is ready. I'll take this out and spread them on my oven rack with my oven tray underneath and I'll proceed to introduce the second batch. So this is the final result. Guys, what do you think about these chips? This looks absolutely beautiful and from the video you can tell that I turned that very crispy. So to prepare my pepper sauce, I used some of the oil that I used in frying the yam. I added my chopped onion. I'll let this fry for about 2 minutes until the onion releases its flavor and it becomes pregnant. To that, I'll add in my pepper mix. I'll give it a good mix until it combines properly and I'll fry until some of the water in it dries up. This should take anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes and I'll be frying it on low to medium heat. I'll fry until it is ready to accept my seasoning and you know this is ready when you see oil floating on top of it. To season I went in with all purpose seasoning, curry powder, a little salt and one seasoning cube. Feel free to season with your favorite spices. I'll give that a good mix until they combine properly and I'll fry for an additional 2 minutes. Two minutes later and our pepper sauce is ready. Time for me to dish this yumminess into my plate. We've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed watching. Please support the channel by liking the video to get it to a wider audience. Share it out to your family and your friends. Engage in the comments section. I love to read your comments and please subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so. Thank you for stopping by and I would love to see you all in my next one. Bye.